So just to follow on from the video that we did uh, recently on coping stones and parapet walls, uh, we mentioned in the text there about um, cavity trays and weep holes and just being aware of them when you're uh, when you're waterproofing a, a parapet and uh, taking coping stones and things into account. So just to spin you around here. We've got quite a good example on uh, on this roof just to uh, just to show you. So you can see here, this is the uh, this is the weep hole here that you can see. And obviously up here we've got coping stones um, on top of this parapet wall here on the inside of here you'll see it's like you through the door you've got the block work and on the outside we've got the brickwork so there's a cavity in between that brickwork and block work and then bridging that cavity up there is the coping stones the concrete coping stones so to stop any of the water coming uh, through those gaps of the coping stones there we've got this uh, cavity tray in here. So the cavity tray will sit at this point. It'll go across and then it, it will go up on a, on a diagonal angle and then it will be it will be chased into the block work on the inside. So then any water that comes down from here will come down the cavity onto that cavity tray and out of the weep holes. Sometimes you will see staining on, uh, on here and that what that tends to tell you is that there's a problem with the with the joints or with the with the coping stones because obviously water is getting down into this cavity and on, onto here and then dripping out uh, in this case there isn't there's no stain in here so we've we've got to assume that that um cav that um parapet and the coping up there which we haven't had access to uh the joints are okay you can see some staining on the outside there so water is falling off there and, and probably down the, down the outside of the brickwork but you've got to say that the, the joints in this one are probably okay. We'll see you on the next one.